Welcome guys. Today I want to show you how to use a simple pendulum in an experiment. Remember we can be able to use a simple pendulum to produce the oscillations and from there we can be able to work out the you know the period the time period and we have the length and so we can be able to work out the uh, acceleration due to gravity. But that is not the main purpose here today. I have seen I have watched students so they have been calling me they have a challenge of how to carry out a simple oscillation now in an experiment where you are required to repeat the number of uh, oscillations they are supposed to do how do you do it? I've seen some learners even here at Masset Club I've seen some learners when I give them time to you know time to do the experiment by themselves there's always a challenge uh, you will find a student holding this and then is trying to time so today I want to show you that this is a wrong way because what happens is this as human beings we have reaction time we may end up releasing the ball before starting the timing or we may start timing before releasing the ball. So it is somehow difficult to release the ball and start the timing at the same time. There is a challenge that if you're watching, I want you to leave it with the minute effect. <laughs> All right. Now, one of the challenge again is how to measure the length of the strain. You will find a setup that is shown to you that for you to measure the length, you're supposed to measure the length from here to the center of the bob that you've been given. Now, if I'm supposed to take measurement of this, of course, if I take measurement from this particular point here, I will have to do, you know, I will have to, sub it doesn't start from the zero. So I will have to subtract. So I will have to know the measurement at this particular point and then the measurement at this particular point and probably that can be confusing so what do i do this can be able to move up somewhere here so it can be able to move i don't need to stress myself so i can able to start the reading exactly at zero here zero here Again, I've seen students, what they do is that, uh, let's say, let's say that the meter rule is somewhere here. They put the meter rule here and then they try to move it this way so they can able take measurement. That is wrong. Remember, this is supposed to be vertical. So what you're supposed to do is to ensure that your ruler is as close to the string as much as possible. And so to avoid the parallax error, so I'll just go down and ensure that it is as close as possible and I'm not holding this and approximately I will take the reading. Uh, it should stop swinging so that I can able to get the, you know, the required measurement. And from here, approximately at the middle, this is 45.6 centimeters. So the height from here to here is actually 46 centimeter. Let's go in the middle. It's 46 centimeter. So for this case here, the length is 46, 45, sorry, 45.6 centimeter. Uh, in the experiment, one of the one of the difficulties you can be asked is, uh, you know, you can be asked to find to say some of the difficulties and indeed measuring the length of the string to the center of the bob can be just but an approximation. So that is what we need to do to take several measurements. So that is just one way which I've showed you how to do how to do that. Now, in the case of timing the oscillation, 
this is where I've seen the challenge from most, from most students. Now, you will realize that oh, you can actually see a student doing this. You know, having the ball, look at this, the weight is slack, and then he releases the ball. Then sometimes it becomes, it disturbs, and then probably hits something uh, like that, and then uh, someone gets frustrated in the exam. So to avoid those kind of frustration, we just need to be patient. My time is at zero zero. I have made a full video of how to use a stopwatch. So kindly check through that. Now, how do I do it? I don't, it doesn't, I don't need to release the bob from here. Just a slight and then look at the way I'm holding it. I'm just going to release it, not to drop it. And so when I release it, that is it. And when I'm ready to take the measurement, I can count. That can be zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's say I want to take the measurement for 10 oscillations. So for 10 oscillations, for 10 oscillations, so for 10 oscillations, the time that I'm having here, uh, that is 12.72 seconds. 12.2. 12.72 seconds. Now, to find the time period from here, the time period, remember 10 oscillations takes 12.72 seconds. The time, the time period, I have seen students making a mistake in this case. In Cambridge, the question even guides you that the time period is the time taken for one oscillation. So what a student will do is to take the time taken for one oscillation. So they will come like this, ignore the 12.72 seconds, answer that, and then they come the next part here. Then, uh, you know, they take the time for one oscillation. So they start like this, then like this. Then they come and record the time taken for one oscillation. No, that is wrong. We are taking 10 oscillations here for repetition, remember? Repetition minimizes minimizes the error that may occur due to the reaction time. I may not know that I'm actually taking some time to react to take the measurement, but it's actually there. So when we repeat, when we take 10 oscillations instead of one, we minimize the error due to uh, the reaction time. So from here, the time taken here will be 12.72 divided by 2, sorry, divided by 10, the time taken, the number of oscillations, so that will be 1.272 uh, seconds, which we can give into three significant figure, 2.7, or you can just leave answer like that for 844. And for IG, it is acceptable, you can give your answer into three significant figures, 1.2. Seven seconds. So this is the time period, the time taken for one oscillation. That is, if you release the ball from here, the time it takes for it to move from here, and then comes back. That is one complete oscillation. And I hope you guys, you will not make such kind of a mistake again.